Mikhail Gorbachev led the former Soviet Union from 1985 to 1991. When he left office, he was faced with a profound question. He said, after leaving the Kremlin, I faced the question, what to do next? Naturally, the first days were very emotional for me and my family. I had to get used to the new situation. Desperation and hopelessness never occurred to me, and my conscience was clear. The promise I had made to the people when I started the process of perestroika was kept. I gave them freedom. This was reflected in many quite specific things. Glasnost, freedom of speech, the ending of ideological persecution, the right to live anywhere one wanted, the removal of the monopoly on property and power, the creation of the foundations of a genuine parliamentary system, the end of the nightmare threat of nuclear war, and openness to the world. And the world responded with understanding and support. We no longer sit as enemies from the Soviet Union, and that's a wonderful thing, and I think history is going to say that Mikhail Gorbachev, more than any other single individual, uh, gets credit for that. Margaret Thatcher, former Prime Minister of Great Britain. Perhaps Mr. Gorbachev's most important achievement is one that is nowadays easily forgotten. The classic Soviet response to attempts by the captive nations to break free of their control was to send in the tanks. Mr. Gorbachev chose a different path. He proved that he was a true man of peace. President Gorbachev is undoubtedly one of the great men of our time. His life was not only a success, it was a great factor in the history of our time. Helmut Kohl, former Chancellor of Germany. The peaceful revolution in the GDR would have been inconceivable without Mr. Gorbachev's activity. Without his sagacity and his support of the people's right to self-determination, the reunification of Germany would not have occurred. We, the Germans, will never forget and will always be thankful to him for that. Mikhail Gorbachev is a living example of the power of possibility. He is a man whose shining legacy will live forever a man of great energy and principle and strength, a worthy competitor and a reliable ally, a true world statesman. James A. Baker III, former Secretary of State. President Mikhail Gorbachev is truly a heroic and historic figure. Thanks to him, hundreds of millions of people around the world today enjoy immensely more hopeful lives. This is true not only for the citizens of the former Soviet Union, or even for the peoples of Central and Eastern Europe. It is true for Americans and residents of Western Europe. For this, the world is forever in his debt. For this, he rightly received the Nobel Prize for Peace. I'd like to present our third Nobel laureate, one of the century's true giants, President Mikhail Gorbachev. Colin Powell, Secretary of State. The instrumental role Mikhail Gorbachev played in bringing the Cold War to a peaceful end assured him an honored place in the history of the 20th century. His important work with the environment and other global issues will leave his mark on the formative years of the 21st century as well. But what to do next? This was the question Mikhail Gorbachev was asking himself as he relinquished the reins of political power. He answered this question in 1993 by founding Green Cross International. Bill Clinton. Preserving the Earth's environment is undoubtedly one of the most pressing concerns of this new century. And we are fortunate to have Mikhail Gorbachev on the front lines of this fight. I'm Bill Moyers. And for many of us, I want to thank you, Mr. Gorbachev, for your leadership on issues of the global environment. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the land that nurtures our food, these are the gifts of nature to all of us and cannot be left to the nationalistic, parochial, or petty concerns that divided us in the 20th century. So for all of us, including my own four grandchildren, I want to thank you, Mikhail Gorbachev, for your role as a statesman of the environment and a man for our future.